Welcome to Strange Planet Breaking News. The last Jedi trailer, the last one to come out before the release of the film, dropped. Okay? It happened during halftime of the Monday Night Football game. I'm not into football, but I waited to see this. And it looked great. You know, it's funny that, you know, that I read an article somewhere that Ryan Johnson said, you don't want to see it too much if you don't want, you don't want to see this trailer if you don't want to get spoiled. But I didn't really see much to be spoiled over. It was really good. And I enjoyed it. You know, you saw, like, Kylo Ren with his lightsaber. This one right here. You saw Rey handing over to Luke this lightsaber, which is this one. And it was just, the whole thing was just amazing, like... There, you know, watching it, I, I have to say, um, made me go, wow, this is definitely going in a different direction than I thought. Um, Luke is anticipating something, and he's really seeing something different with Rey. And she's going through something. What was weird was her thing about her telling Kylo Ren, I want to know my whole place in all this. And he extends his hand out to her. What does that mean? Is she going to turn to the dark side? Is she just lying to him? And actually, you know, here's a part that really messed me up. Kylo Ren is in his TIE Fighter, right? By the way, that's a hot looking TIE Fighter. <laughs> they did a good job in that design. That joint looks great. But there's a moment when he's looking and he knows his mother is in that ship, in the bridge. And he's pointing right at it. And... He's ready to press the button to kill her. To kill his mother. Could we be seeing the end of Leia Organa in this movie? Did they mess around with something due to, um, sadly, Carrie Fisher's death uh, late last year? I don't know. You know, like, Rey is learning the ways of the Force. It looks like Luke is trying to teach her. But there's something going on. Um with him. Oh, we finally saw our close look at Supreme Leader Snoke. No hologram, him in the flesh. It looked really ominous. Like I'm thinking, who is Snoke? Still no clue. I have my theories, but I'm gonna just keep my mouth shut until I get some more info. You see Finn fighting Captain Phasma, with that little weapon that, that that actually messed him up in the last movie between him and another Stormtrooper. I remember when they fought, he had the lightsaber and the, the Stormtrooper had this cool thingamajig that kind of like had shock stuff, whatever. I don't know what to call that. I need to find out the name of that. Well, apparently he gets one for himself. I'm like, hey, I can use this. I mean, I'm not a Jedi. He was never a Jedi. A lot of people, oh, he could be a Jedi. No, he's not. Ray is the key to this. You see the books again. Now some people have their theories on what these books are. These are ancient writings. Um, what they're about, I have no clue yet. Yet. It may be tied to Luke's uh, proclamation in the first trailer months back about how it is time for the Jedi to end. Which I explained in that review that it might mean the beginning of something else. And that Rey is going to be a really big part of that. There are also some things that tie in with the whole idea of the Chosen One prophecy as first introduced by the prequel trilogy. But we still don't know. We still don't know anything yet. So we're gonna, you know, all I saw was a lot of stunning visual effects. You see the Millennium Falcon flying through this, what looks like a cave or something, you know, and they're trying to go through this. You see Chewbacca and then you see this little furry little thing. I, I caught the name of it before and I forgot. I get it. I want to hear the kids. Ooh, look at the cute little fuzzy thing. A lot of people complained the last time that happened. And then this happened and everybody forgot. There is some kind of dynamic happening between Rey and Kylo Ren. Um, what it means, I have no idea. What I did see though was something that even threw Luke back um, regarding his um, uh, trying to help her or show her what to do. However, I did see her in a levitated state towards the end of the trailer that she did not look like she was in a good place. It looked almost 
exorcism, like it was freaky. Like it, it creeped me out for a second. I was like, what, what's happening? Uh, holy snap. And I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. It, it looks like it's going to be a powerful um, movie. I think it's going to be a very dark movie. I think that, um, you know, Ryan Johnson's going to take this in a to a different place that uh, hopefully because he is a diehard Star Wars fan will, um, you know, will really cater to, you know, fanboys like myself and all over the world. So we, we have a lot to look forward to here in this new um, thing. So Paul Dameron real quick, you know, he has his thing to say. I've always liked Paul Dameron. He's mad cool. There's a lot going on. You saw the ad ads? The ad ads look so real like those things look even more menacing than they've ever looked before in the days of the empire they made them larger they made them tougher um they made them far more lethal so get ready for that so what are your thoughts about this trailer talk to me comment below and share with me your thoughts about this last trailer to star wars the last jedi coming out in just a couple of short months from now it's gonna feel like two years at this point because I can't wait. What side are you? Are you with Kylo Ren? Or are you with Rey? So I guess we'll find out soon enough. May the force be with you guys. Right here on Strange Planet. See you soon.